A24's new release, The Well, marks a warm welcome back to Hollywood for Brendan Fraser. Fraser plays Charlie, an online lecturer, who insists his camera is broken, yet when we see him for the first time, realise that he's deliberately concealing his condition as he's grown morbidly obese. Charlie appears to be reaching a critical state upon her introduction, yet he refuses all help beside his home nurse, Liz, as we see him regularly binge eat when he's not apologising repeatedly for his existence. The movie takes place almost entirely inside Charlie's home, and as we see the pretty distressing adjustments that he has to live with. It's adapted for screen by Samuel D. Hunter, and once you see it, you won't be surprised to learn that it came from the stage. I feel like the excellent, albeit small, cast of The Whale, there are just seven credited actors, including Sadie Singh, Kong Chow, and Samantha Morton, who are all playing against type for the roles that at least I know them best for. They, I feel like they saw Brendan Fraser in the fat suit on day one, realised that given it was such a physical performance that the Academy would definitely be watching, and all put their acting boots on. This is an excellently acted movie. It was also nice to see Fraser back too, and in a challenging, demanding physical and emotional role that allows him to truly flex his acting muscles acting muscles and remind us why there was a time where he was on the verge of taking over Tinseltown. There were a uh, suggestion by a lot of critics that this was a bit of a The Revenant by Leonardo DiCaprio performance and that it's deliberately physical in an attempt to get Oscars. I didn't really feel that way. I felt it was more just a statement of Fraser showing us what he could do in his talents as an actor and I had no issue with it. So the acting is really good and it was nominated for two Oscars, whereas the actual film itself wasn't. And the reason for that, and I think that makes sense, is that the problem is that the thing the actors are acting in is absolute nonsense. Darren Aronofsky directs his film in his directorial follow-up to 2017's Mother. And like Mother, this is a movie that relies heavily on metaphor and allegory. Also similar to Mother, it's metaphor and allegory that the movie screams in your face. You see, this movie is called The Whale. And you're probably not smart enough to understand this, but don't worry, Darren's going to explain it all to you because Brendan Fraser is a morbidly obese man, kind of like a whale, you might say. In the movie, he reads an essay, which we assume is from one of his students that constantly repeats the line, it made me think about my own life. Because you see, Darren wants you to see some of yourself in the choices that Charlie is making every day and you to think about your own life. The problem with the whale is that, while there's a story worth telling here, the simple act of becoming and staying morbidly obese isn't exactly a compelling one to bring to screen. It relies a lot on internalised emotions and self-loathing that, while that can certainly be acted, you need a plot to inspire a character to do so, otherwise we're just watching him watch telly, eat pizza and slowly die. The plot we got tries to clumsily weave sexuality, religion, art and a strange family into it in a way that just felt like contrived drama ending in set pieces that didn't stick the landing at all. I felt bad in the cinema at one stage because there was a point towards the typical outlandish Aronofsky ending to the movie where you could tell they were really all going for it. They were bringing it all together, bursting out every last tear and every last wail that they could, bringing everything they could for the showreels to bring the curtain down with a bang. And I couldn't help but laugh out loud at one stage. It just happened. And maybe that was just me. The cast are immersed in their roles and what's demanded of them that I could see a lot of audience buying into what they're doing. And that's their right. If you enjoyed this, and a lot of people I know that I respect and whose opinions that I respect did, then more power to you. But I'll be honest, I just wanted a pizza afterwards. Welcome back, Brendan Fraser. I've no doubt that you will get a dirt of scripts after this, and I can't wait to see them. I hope you get your award, but I hope that in future, now seeing you're back in Hollywood, I hope that it'll be a better experience for me as a viewer.